yeah so thank you everyone uh we are happy to see you here we had the meeting on saturday time like this last week participants mm -hmm. um lucina i think lucy you were missing the other time i think yeah. even, even shukuru yeah it's so we, true yeah what what happened uh like in the last meeting was we to, we, we had uh, really uh, exciting experiences from um, Ramba and uh, and Emiliana so i think that was the uh, that was the main thing that we actually did uh, last week and we thought because we didn't have enough people uh maybe we 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 reschedule uh, this meeting i mean we do uh, uh another meeting uh, so that we, we we more people join and then we we can have um, uh, more feedback from the rest of us and then we can further discuss other agenda so i think agenda number 1 will be feedback from people who did not um, uh, attend uh, last meeting. And then I will welcome Ernest to tell us uh, other agenda mm -hmm. uh, apart from that one. Uh, you're welcome, Ernest. Yes, I had prepared a small review of the whole course and uh, want to emphasize the very important points again just to have a, a roundup of the whole course. But uh, as you said, agenda point number one is uh, experiences from participants. I'm really keen to hear stories of what you tried, what succeeded, and where you had a challenge. Who will take the floor to talk about their own experiences? Yes, thank you, Ernest. So maybe we start with agenda number one, uh, your experiences uh, with regard to, to the cause. So we heard from Ramba, we also heard from uh, Emiliana. Can we hear from Lucy? Lucy, how was your ex your experience like? In the course of developing the website, yes. We start with okay. developing, developing the learning environment, yes. Okay, hello. Hello. Okay, uh, thanks for the invitation uh, my experience from the developing website i had their challenges but we communicate with our colleagues and they helped us how to publish the website um the we my my, my myself i fell to share the the, the document whether video or, or, or audio. I, I, I succeeded to, to, to publish, but I failed to, sh to share the, the document with my students. If I share the, the uh, website link, they tell me they don't see the, what is, is, is supposed to be done. They don't see the uh, mater reading materials, they don't see audio and whatever. So from the website, I really <laughs> had a uh, challenge. And I, I, I communicate with Mr. Uh, Boya, Christian. He helped me so much. But sometimes our, our computers differ from uh, which they differ from one another. So um really i need help help how to share the document 
so that my students can see them. Um, about the feedback, I prepare the form and the questions, but uh, our students were in, they have a lot to do. They have graduation, they have exams. So I felt also to, to communicate with them and to share with them. That's all about me. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. I think um, you have made tremendous uh, progress. Yeah. Yes. Um, I it's a well, I just wonder, so I, I mean, I just um, can't there, guess yeah. what the problem was, but I think it could be either if you upload material to the Google Drive into a folder that with material that you want the students to see, you have to make mm -hmm. this folder public. You can this uh, you can achieve this by going into Google Drive and yes. going to the folder and telling it that this yes. is public. Another a possibility why your students couldn't see it might be that on the Google sites, once you produce a website, you have to publish it. And once you okay. print the button publish, then you can get a, a link that you can send to your students. And then they should be able to see the content of your website. So these okay. two uh, steps might have been a problem before. I, maybe you can try this again. And then about the feedback, of course, uh, I think we have to think about when to introduce such a, a task. I mean, the students must be on the internet. Maybe you have to yes. find the time slot where they are on campus, where they can get easily yes. uh, on the internet. Or uh, if, if that's all very typical, different for, for school to school, when and how is the best opportunity for the students to to respond because actually once you have made a google form or a feedback they can even give the feedback on a, a on a on a smartphone yeah, okay Fine. i thank understand you thank you thank you welcome Yeah, so I think, uh, Lucy, we did talk the other time. It could be that your the settings in the Google Drive, as Ernest pointed okay. out, the settings okay. do not allow do not allow someone else to yeah. to have access. So maybe you have private access to to the document. Mm -hmm. So maybe I can I can show you here. Let's see if uh, I can I can try. So Ernest, if you can allow me to share my just a minute. Yeah. Uh, now you should be able to show. Do you have now the you're now the host? Okay, thank you, Ernest. Welcome. So, so let me try to share. Okay, so can you see? Yes. So this yes, is okay. this this these are the documents in the in my Google in my in my Google Drive. So yes. Lucy. I know, I know computers differ. Let's see, you know, so yes. see, 
<laughs> see here. So for instance, here I have this document, okay? I have this document. Yes. Written career curriculum for St. Jude. So I come here. Okay. This is in my Google Google uh, Drive. So no. I want to make it public. Okay? So I come here. Yes. Share. Okay. Yes. All right. So if yes. so, that means usually uh, the the default setting is restricted, restric restricted, which means you are the only yes. person who can see. It. Yeah. Okay. So you need yes. to change. So for instance, if I do here, if I say restricted, nobody can see this form. Okay. okay. Yeah, but yes. if if I say anyone with the link, yeah, that's better. That, that means okay. a person with the um with the link can see the document. So you can also see even with this one, share, you come here. You see these dots here? So you click here. Yes. And then you say share. Share. Yeah. So you share with these people yes. here. Or yes. say restricted. Restricted means no one can see it. But if you okay. say anyone with the link, so if you send uh, if you send the link to students, they should be able to see it. So Lucy, I think you, you get it. Can you maybe you can try that? I, okay. I, I get you, Mr. Christian, but the problem is when I want to to share with them the Google form. Yes. Do you remember you uh yeah when I want to share the Google form the uh questions I have prepared. Yes. I you you should be published first. Uh -huh. is it Oh, I remember yes. the problem. You had a problem with public. Yes. public. How do you publish? Yes. Yeah. You, I don't you told me I should publish it in a website. Yes. I reached the stage. But finally sharing. I can't see the sharing. <laughs> Where is sharing? Uh -huh. Okay. So maybe we can try that as well. Uh, maybe. Okay. You want to publish? Okay, maybe we can try. Have a look here. Uh, yes. What do I want to share? Uh, okay, so we come back here. I'm sharing. So can you see what I share? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So this is my website. Yes. Uh, I open it. Mm. So this is an this is an example of the website. Okay. Yes. So I want I want to add some information. So you can see here, for instance. Uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I want to put some information. So here, I want to insert. Yes. Uh, what do I want to insert? I want to insert something from the Google from Google Drive. Yeah, and and I take this one or this one. So I am sharing. I I am I am now. Um, uh, adding uh, the document from the Google Drive. So this is, maybe I check this one. This, this is a quiz. Yes. So I had already prepared the quiz. Yes. Wait. Yeah, so I want to publish this quiz here. This is, okay, this is quiz five. If I don't publish, this will get lost. So I have to publish. Oh. Yes. So where do I publish? I come uh, here. Wait. 
You see this? Do yes, see? I can see it. Yes, yeah. sir. So you say publish. So it shows you how it looks now. Yes. Current, currently published. So what what is is in there now? Mm -hmm. Okay, and and what will how it will appear when you publish? So you can see the difference. So it tells okay. you after you publish, this is how it will look like. So when you are okay. satisfied, then you say publish. Now it has published. So you can see the, okay. quiz, the quiz is here. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't publish, then your work will be lost. Is there any? Yes. Is Lucy? there it after pub? Hello. Yes. Is to share it. Your publishing. Or publish is the last stage. Yeah. After you have prepared it. So maybe if I don't get your consent. Uh, can you come again? So uh, what, I, what's the issue? Okay, yes. I, I understand that. I I reached the uh the publishing stage, so I was trying to share it. I understand now. If you publish, it will be seen by my students. Is it? No, no way. After publishing. No, you. If you publish, it remains permanent. Yes. In your website. Okay. Okay. But yes. it may not. It, it 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 doesn't say that it will it will be seen by your students unless you allow it. You share it the way we were doing. So if you publish okay. without allowing yes. other people to see, it will okay. be your and, and you will be the only person who will see it. Thank you. Yeah. So you. Thank you. <laughs> You see, if you don't <laughs> listen, listen, Luz, if you don't publish, that means you will not be yes. able to you, you will not be able to see it later. But if you publish it, you will okay. see it later. But if you don't okay. share, if you don't share, yes. you need to publish and share from the Google Drive. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what we were talking the other day. Okay. And I think Mramba, you also had a similar concern. Mramba. Was it the same? Yeah, it was almost the same, but then yes. after I found that I should publish it. Uh, yes. And after being published, I should now allow the okay. share. Uh, yeah. So now it works. Yeah, does it now work? That my or of course it's working now, though uh -huh. I don't have a great number of students, but I, uh -huh. I'm still okay. adding them. Okay, great. Thank you, uh, Rasmi. So, Lucy. Sir, yes, yes. Any any other concern? Uh, other concern is about here. Uh, I asked you to help us about TYTD downloader. Ah, you promise you will help us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I will get back to you, Lucy. Okay. I will. Okay, I will sir. get back to you. Then we do private arrangement. We can do it tomorrow. No, 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 no. Tomorrow it is difficult. We'll do yeah. it. We'll do it next week. So I will check you probably on Monday. Oh, on Monday so, I'll be free. Yeah. Tomorrow may not be easy for me. Yeah. So we will talk. So I, I know you are with uh, very nice. Very nice is uh, she, she's not here. Yeah, I don't I know, know what you. happened to her. Yeah, but I know you're working together. You're working. You're working yes, with. Yes. Yes. So yeah, if, we, if, 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 you, if, you can, if you can talk to her, then we can. Yes. We can see your best time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lucy. Oh, okay. We shall communicate. Okay. Can we hear from Shukuru? Yes, sir. You can hear me. How are you, How are you Shukuru? 
I'm good, I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm good, I'm happy to see you. We missed you last time. Did you ah, join yes. any? I think last week. I didn't join last week. Uh -huh. but okay. From my experience, yeah. uh, okay. of course, I have tried to my level best yes. to this program, and uh, I have tried to use this website to give my students some assignments, but also feedback. Yes. And uh, I gave them, though they don't want to respond because sometimes they are blaming we have no bundle and so forth. But yeah. I have tried to use my level base to convince them, telling them that if you don't answer, it means you will miss marks. There will be no <laughs> continuous assessment. <laughs> so they, they have tried to answer and if they replied, they, res uh, they responded mm. almost the, class, the whole class. Okay. And uh, they have answered the questions, which I, and I'm sure that I shared with you such yeah. kind of uh, questions. When I was developing them, I tried to share with you. So they yes. have answered, but my challenges were the same as my fellow tutors, Blue Skiria, Mramba, and others. That yes. I was, I, I was trying to share them, but I failed. So I use another uh, to create a WhatsApp group. Then I, I shared the link through WhatsApp groups or okay. through emails. Those who had the emails, I tried to send them the link through their emails, but most of them I try to share them with them through their WhatsApp groups. And that's where they, 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 they started uh, answering those questions through such kind of links. So okay. the problem was just to link from Google form such kind of uh, link to the Google site so that the students, when they go to the Google sites through the link, which maybe I have shared with them, they will see the whole, the, the, the that form, whether it is feedback form or the question which were, uh, they, 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 they were in need of uh, answering them. So that is all about how I was just trying to, uh, to use such kind of a website. Okay. That is all about, yeah. Okay, so yeah, taking from you, I think you have made also uh, a tremendous uh, progress. Yeah? yeah, it's 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 not it's not easy. I know it's not easy. It takes some <laughs> time. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I really, I'm really happy that you uh, at least there's something happening, and yeah, I yeah, am yeah. sure that there's more to come. So maybe yeah, if Ernest, course. if Ernest want to have a comment. Well, it's actually what you say. I mean, step by step. You don't want to start with blended learning all full fledged, but rather implement one element at a time, find out what works. Also, the learners must get uh, familiar with this kind of interaction. And so, step by step, in a year's time, you won't recognize the way you teach because you have changed it slowly but steadily. Yeah. I think that's the ideal way to make a change uh, process successful. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Ernest. And I want to let you know that we are available. If you need help, this is the last month, so we may extend to uh, May, probably. Mm -hmm. so that we make sure that everybody has at least a good website with all necessary resources. And please know that we are available. We will provide support. So if you have an issue, let me know. I am nearby. Yeah, Ernest, I know, is also available. So if you have an issue, please 
just let us know. Okay? Yeah, so Ernest, if you can yes. take us, if you can take us through the expectations for the you can show us the video or anything that you want to yeah. share uh, as assignments for this week, uh, for this uh, final phase. Yes. Okay, yeah. uh, let me quickly start with uh, just a minute. Yeah. Okay, can you see it now? Blended Learning plus the follow-up course. Yes, we can see it. Okay, so I think it's a good moment to stop and look back. At the end of the whole course about Blended Learning and the additional follow-up course, the aim of the course and the subsequent follow-up part was not only to teach you innovative teaching methods and to show you what is possible somewhere in the world. But we wanted you to use the methods at your daily teaching. And as we said before, we don't want to implement a whole blended learning approach, but rather put one element after the other to your course and steadily and slowly improve or come closer to the ideal blended learning mode. Whereas the students can also adapt slowly to these new forms of communication and responding. This way, I think such a complex transfer, uh, change process can be manageable and doesn't overwhelm neither you nor the students. The process, how to do it, actually should take into consideration the challenges that the students will have once they are just reading and learning on the screen. The learning environment of your students may not be optimal. The students have, and that's the main problem, they have to organize their learning themselves. They have to put their daily uh, time slots where they want to learn. The students do not, do not exactly know how much they understood, and they have not as much feedback as they would have in your face-to-face -face teaching, the conventional way of teaching. Many students who are sitting somewhere studying on a screen, they suffer from isolation and they are used to work and study in a group. And this situation is totally different. We have to realize that the students, if they have questions, they probably have nobody nearby to discuss the issues. The student has nobody to get help quickly. So he might get stuck some, with something and lose a lot of time. The students are not of very often not so focused like they are in a classroom because they are distracted from all the things that happen around him or her. Students are used to work in a group, but now he's sitting alone, alone and misses this kind of group work. He must solve all the problems himself or herself, which is really challenging. They are not, for them it's new to learn online. And we have to think about that we can, we have to do something about it to help them to overcome these new problems, to make it in a whole self-directed learning can be challenging. And that's why the learning path you put on the website is so important. The learning path consists not only of 
learning material, but also on advices, on hints, on motivational statements. That's why you have in your learning path assignments, and you also give them clear to do dates, due dates, so they you can help them organize their learning. We were talking about insecurity, where the students do not quite understand or know whether they understood properly. That's why we are finding formative assess assessments so helpful. Ask them to give feedback. Give them a chance to ask questions. Once you have them in a face-to-face -face situation, don't just lecture, but use these kinds of face-to-face uh, uh, -face traditional meetings to make it as interactive as possible to overcome this problem with the isolation. Organize discussions once you have them in your class. Ask for collaborative tasks so they can still exchange their ideas during the face-to-face -face sessions. So you see, introducing blended learning is not actually a problem of using computers. Here in red, these are the problems that you might have using laptops, smartphones, having basic ICT skills and dominating and using software. But all the other strategies that can help the students are rather didactic suggestions. How to use collaborative learning, how to motivate students, how to uh, promote uh, 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 interactive exchange. Second problem, you as a teacher have as well challenges. You, it's very easy to fill a, a website with full of assignments. If you don't think about how much time will the students require to fulfill these tasks, you will overwhelm the students. And the more you ask from students, then the less they will have time to focus on each uh, task. The uncertainty about you, about the learning process of the students is also a problem you will experience as a teacher. You teach, you prepare, you play the learning, learning environment, but you don't know where these students learn something. That's why it's so important to request feedback, either in the face-to-face -face lesson or to run surveys with Google Forms. Formative tests, not just final exams, can help the students to find out how he's progressing and it can give you valuable information whether they are with you or whether they have lost you already a week ago. If the student sits in front of the screen, he, he tends, she, they tend to be passive. That's why in your teaching, you have to try on every opportunity to launch discussions, to ask to do assignments in short, to engage students in an active form of learning. So here as well, in red, the uh, computer uh, skills are quite limited that you need to implement blended learning. What you must understand is how to uh, address the problems the students and you have by uh, using strategies like feedback, uh, build human relations, create a learning path that makes following the, uh, the, or to get the orientation where they stay, stay as easy as possible. Another next step is that you plan. We were talking about this, uh, you were talking about this with Christian uh, last August, but now as well, 
uh, the, the plan to, to to transfer a conventional course like this one, five days face-to-face -face course into a blended learning mode. This takes a lot of thinking because a five days face-to-face -face course might turn into a blended learning course that takes eight weeks, for instance. Then you have to decide how much time can I have this class in a present face-to-face -face situation? And how many hours do we expect them to learn following the learning path on your website? So do self-directed learning. Once this has been defined and decided, then you can try to create kind of a storyboard of the teaching learning activities. As I sh have shown here, week one, week two, week three, and so on, I have ideas, what will I deal with in the face-to-face -face lesson? What kind of learning resources do I have to prepare in the Google Drive and Google Sites? What kind of assignments will I ask the students to do? And I already think of when will I be able to talk to my students about this assignment and when will I get the results? For instance, here, in the first assignment, we will discuss the results in week two. So I have to think about oh, uh, when is the due date for this assignment. And then you might also plan already some tests, uh, formative uh, tests, as well as uh, final exams of certain topics. This uh, phase of the planning is very crucial and is the basis for all the rest of the work that comes afterwards. I mean, a particular advantage of blended learning is that we can utilize a huge wealth of learning resources available on the internet. We therefore systematically research for suitable content, such as text, assignments, video tutorials, quizzes, and so on. Once you have them, you can upload them to you to a folder on Google Drive. And then next step, you create the website with Google Sites. And if you have already in your public folder, as I said, public, which we found out is important to uh, to make it available to the whole public, then you can integrate them in the website and create the learning path. The website is, so to say, actually the window that gives access to the learning path for the students. The Google Drive and Mail, all these other uh, elements can be used as kind of a back office, as the, the storage room for all the information, all the resources that we use. Now, this sounds quite technical, but you have to think about that all these elements that you integrate into your course, the evaluation, the tests, the, uh, for instance, reading tasks and so on, they should all fit to each other. So it uh, creates a holistic learning experience because if you put something in that has nothing to do with uh, all the other elements, students will tend to skip them and don't uh, regard them as important. We were also talking about that in the next step, you might integrate feedbacks, surveys, where you can get insight into the whole learning experience, it has a lot of good uh, input also for the students. They are more engaged in a learning process where they can also give their comments. It, you can uh, 
in this way also sometimes find out about problems early in and can react on it and can uh, adapt your strategies. If you teach a blended learning course without getting the feedback, you must feel like a pilot flying through fog. You can't see anything, you just drive. You, you don't know whether you will crash in the next uh, few seconds or whether you are really are well over the ground. That's why uh, feedback is so much more important in a, in a conventional learning situation. We get feedback without knowing it, without being aware of it. Because even if you have and look at your students, you realize whether they have problems or not. A next step, which is uh, which can save you a lot of work, are the Google Forms that allow you to create tests that where you can also uh, get the answer key, where you also can decide the value for the grading. And once you have prepared such a test, you, it will be uh, automatically grading tests. And that can serve, uh, save a lot of time, especially with the many students you often have. You can even have uh, also a mixture between multiple choice questions and open questions where you can correct and grade the open questions and the computer does the rest. So you're very, very efficient this way. And another element that can save you a lot of work was well, just a few years ago to record a video tutorial uh, needed expensive equipment and specialized software. Today, video tutorials can easily be produced using Zoom sessions. It will be free because it has a limitation of 40 minutes, I think, but that doesn't mean anything. Video tutorials, effective video tutorials, rarely are longer than 10 minutes. Now, what I want to emphasize again is how important is the gradual change process that can occur more or less quickly depending on your situation. But it usually follows these eight steps. And the slow introduction not only offers great advantages for you as a teacher, the learners also appreciate being able to slowly get used to all this innovation. So even if you work just on this stage with a, a website and the learning path and maybe offering their digital resources, it's still not a full-fledged blended learning course, but it's already able to prove that these elements work. In the next step, you can add tests, self-grading tests and so on until you have the full-blown element that the blended learning is all about. If I'm looking back on the course, I have my personal assessment criteria, of course. I mean, it is important that you are satisfied that you find, found the course uh, attractive and interesting. But this is actually just an, an effect. What I'm feel much more interested in whether you found that this transfer is in your situation doable. Is it realistic to change your, on the new uh, circumstances, your course in partly or fully into a blended learning course? Then the next element, which I find even more important, is that you don't, you are not just saying, yes, it's doable, but that you realize whether it's useful, whether it gives you a benefit, whether it saves you time, whether you can address the individual needs of students more uh, clearly 
than in a conventional courts. And for me, actually, uh, I must say, is the most important element is that we have been able to plant healthy seeds that may grow into strong trees. We have seen from you before, you have already made your uh, experiences and this makes me motivated and optimistic that even if the course will be uh, come to an end, you will work and uh, implement elements of blended learning and make your teaching more effective. That's uh, my contribution and my wish uh, to all of you. Oh, thank you, Ernest. That was um, a very uh, enriching presentation. And it gives us the highlight of what this course is all about. So I must uh, really uh, appreciate. Um, so if, if I can see very nice is here. Very nice. Very nice, we want to hear your voice. Okay, so if you have any questions, participants, to ask to, to ask Ernest, please, you are welcome to do so. Hello. Hello. Yes, um, I'm asking, is it possible to run blended learning if uh, for a tutor? or a teacher who has only one hour per week? Is it possible? But I understand you correctly. You are teaching a, a course that you, where you meet your students once a week. One, yes, one hour per week. Yes. Well, I think we, talk about blended learning, but this is just uh, a notion that describes many, many different forms. I think I, you are the best person to find out to what extent certain elements that you have learned now can be helpful in yes. your specific situation. I don't think that we have a final element that must be look the same for all of us. It very much depends on the circumstances of your students, on the subject you teach. I mean, okay. if I teach languages, it's a different element, totally different situation than if I teach, for instance, uh, sports, where a blended learning approach is probably very much more difficult. And that's why I'm never, I would never pretend that the blended learning is a, a clear, clearly described approach. It must uh, fit to your needs and to your situation. But I can very well see, I have taught many different ways of blended learning approaches with people that I saw just once a month. And even then, it's also good to have the material on a website where they can come back and even after a month, that's a long uh, far back, but they can always refer to the material on the website. I don't know whether this was uh, is an answer for your question. I, I get you. I, I was um, getting um, a, a bit challenging. Because when we prepare a story, uh, story board, mm -hmm. we prepare if as if we have three hours per week. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was I was getting challenged, mm -hmm. but now I am. I've understand it. Yeah, that's yeah. why I also showed you a few different time frames because, uh, as I said, there are so different situations. We were talking about. Uh, a semester course, 14 weeks. Well, this is one possibility, but there are many others where uh, blended learning can play a role. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I, I also think that you may, Lucy, you talk about the storyboard where the yeah. three are. So in preparing your storyboard, you take yes. you, you consider the realities in your institution. Okay. So if okay. you're meeting, if you have one hour face to face per week, then that should reflect in your in your storyboard. So you will say okay. the rest of the hours will be online or out of the class, and then I will only meet them an hour per week. And sometimes you may not even need to meet them. You know, it depends on how you arrange it. So yeah, I wanted to mention that when you're doing your storyboard, consider the realities of your of your institution. My cause. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Well, and then I also could explain online learning. Online learning is just a variation of blended learning where the face-to-face -face element is a Zoom meeting. I was running a course with uh, teachers at the NAST in Namibia for eight weeks, and we met only once a week in a Zoom meeting. I was never able to go down there and, and, and see them uh, live. But I had somebody uh, who was also supporting me and who was also addressing uh, problems and uh, questions of the students. So there are so many different forms that I can imagine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand. Thank you. Welcome. I also okay. would like to uh, re uh, remind you that I would be very happy if you have success stories, if you have challenges, you can always send me a mail. We could also, if you, if we have a specific problem, uh, start a Zoom meeting to to deal with these problems. So I'm very open for you to uh, to to also learn about your way of teaching. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ernest. Okay. So, uh, as I mentioned, we are always available. Uh, Ernest has assured us that he's also available. And I know even when this course concludes, we can always contact each other. Right. Yeah, there's always uh, that room to, to share experiences. So this was just a beginning, unfortunately, we had uh, a limited uh, time, so we can always continue, even when we uh, announce that the course has come. It, it will yeah. be our pleasure. <laughs> yeah, so you. if you have any issue, please let us know. Yeah, yeah so uh, okay, that's Thank it. you very much. Okay, so NST, if you have something to conclude, please. Oh, uh, well, I'm happy. Uh that we reached so far. Who had ever known that uh, I think that was your idea to start such a follow-up course. And I think this is a really worthwhile because as I said, just to hear what is possible doesn't bring us one step further. We have to try it ourselves and only then you can really develop new skills that will last and improve your way of teaching. Yeah. Congratulations for your steps you made already, and I'm quite confident that you, in a year's time, you will stay on another planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, special appreciation to Ernest. I know you have very busy life. Yeah, but you made your time, and we you're always available when we when we suggest. Yeah. Yeah, can we meet this? Uh, can we meet on uh, Saturday? Ernest yeah. has always been flexible, and I'm really happy for for this. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I know not not because you're free, be, because you have always tried to be flexible to make sure that the purpose of this uh, follow up course is met. And I'm I'm happy that we can see the purpose being met. Yeah. So Ernest, yeah. My appreciation. Thank you very much. 
for your time. You're welcome. It was a pleasure for me as well. I have yes. learned a lot. I mean, yes. I always, yes. I'm, it's astounding what job you have to do. If yes. I, I would never be able to yes. run a course with 600 yes. students or 200 <laughs> students. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to make it a great job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Ernest. So um, we can schedule for maybe feedback at the mid uh, mid mid May, mm -hmm. May mid May. So we can have at least two weeks to uh, improve, and then maybe okay. we can schedule for a meeting uh, okay. at the after two weeks and Bye. see how it goes. As I said, if you have an issue, feel free to let us know. Mramba, is it like you have something you want to say? Said, even if the course is going to be ended, then I thought to myself, is it now that we are talking about the ending or yet we are? No, 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 no. We, we still have a, almost a whole month to make sure that you have everything in place and then we will end it later. Yeah. So what I wanted to say is even when the course ends, yeah, we will just be sure that we will be available to offer support. Yeah, then so I think... Yes? Two weeks, you have said, we'll have another round of meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, I'm, what, what I am thinking is, if you have any other issues, you can let us know. We help you, and then we can check each other after two weeks and see any development so what I wanted to emphasize before we end this uh, meeting is that try to, if you have a survey, if you have a test, try to test it with your students. Try to get them uh, feel it. And when we meet, have something to show us. This is how they, 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 they felt, they feel, and this is the analysis. Because the Google, Google document Google form will analyze it for you. So we would like to see that, you know, and the experience of, um, of uh, you know, administering, um, it could be a test or a survey or anything. So for instance, I would recommend, you can start with uh, a, little, a little survey to see the attitude towards uh, this kind of approach. So you can ask a few questions. Uh, where the answers are yes, no, or strongly agree or less agree, <laughs> their suggestions, do they have bundles? You know, you can ask these questions. Do you have to extra time to do assignment? You know, these kind of questions. Will you recommend other like, uh, tutors to use this? What are the possible challenges? And then we see the attitude. So if you, you can manage to develop uh, I survey to see how they they think and encourage them to feel it. It will it will really give you a very good uh, information that will guide how you handle. It. So please, everyone, if you can try that, I'm very sure it will be useful uh, for you and for us. Yeah. Okay. So thank you very much. I really appreciate. Bye -bye. Have a Bye -bye. good time. See you in two Bye. Weeks. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye.